Dudes and Dudettes, today I'm taking a look at an awesome digital camera from Nickelodeon, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles digital camera with preview screen. Pop this amazing piece of technology open. Look at the type of <laughs> USB connection. I still have a CD reader, which is good, I guess. No mention of Windows 10. How old is this? Eight megabytes of internal memory. There is a tiny, tiny screw. So if you want to actually change your batteries, you need to download your photos before removing the batteries. And the screen is ready to go. All right, I found a screwdriver. That should work. It's meant for eyeglasses. Something's happening. Wow, it has a preview screen. They weren't kidding. It looks awesome, at the very least. I'm going to take this out, do some photos, maybe video. We'll see. I think there were multiple versions of this camera, and I did get the Donatella one, obviously with the purple on it. Although, I'm not sure if you know, but in the original comics they all had red bandanas. It's funny how the strap is on this side, left side, usually it's on the other side. When, you know, people tend to use cameras with the right hand, or they basically have to, but this one's kind of a anything goes setup very narrow lens. I'll have to try to figure out what it is. I can actually see it in bright daylight sun, so that's a good, good thing. You got a button, you push the button, and that's pretty much it. You can do a quick selfie with it. Oh, it's super, super close. And <laughs> just, just look at your face in there, but basically that's it. You go into the menu, and I can change it to the timer. I'll set it on the camera and try it again. All right, that should be good. That did work. Try the video real quick as well. <laughs> Compare it to the M6 Mark II. Who knows if it's working. Test one, two, three, testing one, two, three. Oh, memory is full. So that's it. Overall, it is a pleasant-ish experience to use. So just basically have one button to take a photo and then switch modes through the menu, which isn't difficult at all. It's just cycling through the stuff. Simple, easy. I mean, if it had decent quality, you know, it's, it wouldn't be terrible. All right, I'm going to do a side-by-side -side with an M50. Try to get the focal length similar. And we'll be sporting some Ninja Turtle t-shirts. But one more thing. I'm going to go full ninja. I'm going to try the software and see how this works. Dual mode camera V25. We are going. This is, uh, acquire images from 98365. It's the pictures directory. Six of 32. There were definitely not that many. Okay, now we got our files. First, we're going to check out, wow. I did end up deleting a few files as I was going along so that I could get a few extras. <laughs> Not bad. Not bad. These ones I had to, to shrink it. Oh, that really didn't work. Man, those are turkeys. <laughs> it was a smaller size too. Wow. I deleted a photo for that. All right, let's start with this. We can edit. Creative corner. Okay, this one needs flash. So that's a no-go. Games, I assume, also needs flash. Also a no-go. Am I serious about this camera? Obviously not. Although it was fun to mess around with, it was cheap to pick up. Image quality is terrible. It's probably even worse than the camera I had back in 2003 from Canon. I actually still have that. I could see a kid maybe using this thing and having some fun with it, taking a few photos, doing those little video clips and all that, but of course the software is unsupported. It has very limited function now on like current computers. You could probably build a whole old computer to get it functioning fully. Anyways, hope you enjoyed the video on this Ninja Turtle camera. I'm Scott for Free Bonsai. Thanks. My favorite is Donatello. Although Michelangelo is a relatively close second. So we've got timer, video, multi-shot, regular photos.
quality setting and quality of the actual JPEG.